So let's start this video off with a little bit of honesty. To be honest, I've only seen like six or seven episodes of Evangelion prior to building this kit. So I didn't really know what to look forward to and my excitement to building this kit had nothing to do with the series, but mainly the unknown. There was a huge hype train following the release of this kit and I'm really pumped that I got my hands on it because this RG, it's the real deal. So let's check it out. How's it going everyone? Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've got a smile on my face because I'm finally in my new build space and it's perfect for me. I'm really happy. Um, it's nice, it's clean, it's, it's organized. As you can see, I have my Artie station behind me. I've got my spray booth off to the side now. And I'm really excited to be able to bring to you guys more content, better content. And more than that, I'm just hoping that I can share a little bit more about the hobby that I have, you know, with, with you guys. I want to give a huge shout out to Gunpla University. If you haven't checked out his channel, I'm going to throw a link down below. He helped me out with my new intro. I'm really pumped. It's very minimalist and that's very much my style. So I'm really grateful to have that. And again, I got to thank my sponsor, USA Gundam Store, for sending me out this RG Evangelion kit and being a little patient with me as I built it and painted it for you during a move and the virus and everything else that's happening in 2020. So enough about that. Let's actually talk about the build. So if you're here and you follow the channel, you know that I primarily build Gundam kits and even more specific 1-100 scale kits tend to be master grades. Now this RG Evangelion was different for a few reasons. One, it wasn't RG, which is a smaller scale, and it was a different genre that I wasn't too familiar with. And I'm really happy that I went in on this because the engineering was completely different from not only RG gunplug kits in general, but just gunplug kits in general. I mean, I, I, the engineering on this kit was really, really cool. And they had a lot of interesting ideas on some of the runners. Now, this video is going to end up being like my flagship video for the new style that I want to provide you guys, which is a review channel, but not in the sense of, hey, here's the kit, here's what you get in the box, and here's what it looks like. But I want to review it from the aspect of someone who's going to paint the kit, decal the kit from start to finish. I very rarely will snap a kit. I actually don't even like snapping them until it's time to build. I know that might drive some of you guys crazy. My backlog to me is... I'm going to open the box, snip it, sand it, wash it, paint it, decal, paint it. I mean, all the way from the top to bottom. That's how I tend to, to build nowadays. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a kit that you already know is incredible, that you probably already bought or are waiting for it to ship. But I'm telling you a couple areas that you want to look out for if you're going to paint it from top to bottom. I've identified four specific areas that you probably want to check out and uh, keep in mind. Those areas are as follows. The horn. There are two horns that come on this kit. I'm going to have pictures up of everything. One of them comes on this really cool runner that has a purple piece with green plastic fused to the sides of it. Now, if you're never going to paint this kit, you don't have to worry about it. I'm talking about if you do decide to paint it. And if you do decide to paint it, that's one area you want to worry about. There's multiple ways you can go about doing this. You can mask it off. You could just use decals. They do come with decals. Or you can do what I did which was hand painting it with some enamel paint. Now, next, I would talk about is the shoulders. The shoulder panels on the kit where the armor kind of goes over. There's small joints that really give you a hard time or gave me a hard time with just a little bit of paint on them. I had a really hard time getting them to hold on. Part number three is gonna be the bicep. That bicep, again, is a special plastic piece that comes with gray um, molded on top or, or green plastic molded on top of a gray piece. You can do a couple things with it. For me, I just went in and panel lined it, but it does move a lot with the kit. So any part of any bit of paint is probably going to throw you off a little bit. And lastly is the crotch piece. This crotch piece is very, very finicky for a few reasons. One of them is it goes in and then locks or rotates up. And after painting mine, I could not get it to go in and rotate up. I just left that bare plastic now. So those are the four parts, the horn, the shoulders, what else did I say? The biceps and the crotch piece. So let's go ahead and I will zoom in on the kit and kind of show you uh, what I ended up doing. All right. 
So this runner here for your horn, now this kit does come with two horns. Um, this is the only one that has the raised green plastic on it. And again, it's a purple piece that then has green plastic molded around it. I had a little bit of an issue finding the perfect green that matched with the fluoro green that I used from SMS. But what I ended up doing was using this testers enamel paint and I just hand painted that horn. Again, if you're gonna be painting this kit, that might be something that you look out for. Um, or a mask it. Or... Now the second piece you want to be cautious about is this full connection right here. Um, once you put any bit of paint on there, and I don't know if I just put too much, but that connection there makes life very, very difficult when you go to attach it. Uh, the way I fixed that was getting an exacto blade afterwards, boring out a larger hole on that part, and then on the kit itself, if I can kind of get it to zoom in, I just cut the nub down real low. Um, this might seem a little excessive, but that's what worked for me, just the cutting of this nub. That was the only thing that allowed me to actually snap the shoulders on, as you can see on this side. And now it can rotate up, down, left, right. But with your, you know, with any level of paint, I got to tell you, very, very difficult. That next part that I was talking about is actually right here, this green bicep part here. This black line that I actually have there used to be an all green piece of plastic. Again, it's a special runner. I'll throw a picture up so you can kind of see what that runner looked like. And I actually just went ahead and used this Copic multi-liner. It's a uh, 0.1 millimeter and I just drew over and that's actually what I used to panel line the whole kit. I didn't do the best job. I'll try to show you how clear it was. But yeah, you wanna keep out for that piece. There's a lot of scraping and scratching when you do put it on. That piece actually rotates a whole lot. So keep that in mind, guys. That would be another part. And moving right along and finishing strong, this crotch piece right in there. It's kinda of hard to show you. Like I said, the grays do match between the German gray and the actually molded plastic. I'll show you a picture in a second of the uh, instruction manual and what that looks like. But those were those pieces that gave me a hard time. So there you go, guys. The RG Evangelion Unit 1 Almost Done kit. And I say it's almost done just because I still have the DX uh, platform base to finish up for you guys. It's all painted up. I'm just doing a couple more details. And I'm going to try to do another decal video for you. Um, I had a lot of positive feedback from the last video when I was putting decals on this one. But I do know that the zoom and in and out wasn't as good. So I'm going to try to fix that for you. Overall, this RG kit, I like it. I'm glad I had an opportunity to build and paint it for you and provide you with this series. I hope that the information that I provided was helpful for those of you who are going to paint this kit from top to bottom. You keep those four parts in mind when you're building. And it might help you out or at least give you an idea of what to look out for. And if you do something different, let me know. If I made life more difficult or if I just put too much paint and you didn't have that problem, please let me know. But this is one solid kit. Look, solid. It's not going anywhere. And here you have it in your hands, the RG Evangelion Unit 1. I'll catch you on the next one.